we should have brought our award down. Oh, oh yeah. Award? Yeah, it's up on, where is it? Chase and Ted. The United States Tennis Association awards outstanding members of their community every year at their annual conference. And this year's Family of the Year award was given to the Pipkin family from right here in Landisville, Pennsylvania. I'm director of Tennis at Hemphill Rec Center. State your name. Oh, Wilson Pipkin. <laughs> 36 years. Wow. I teach sixth grade at Roarstown Elementary. <laughs> I am a studio director at the Philly Arts Center in Philadelphia. I teach fifth grade at Ross Elementary. And I am a director and production manager for a media company in D.C. Though they all loved to play tennis, the reasons for starting were a little different. I started when I was like seven. I just kind of started on my own, hitting against a wall or begging people to hit with me when I was in Texas. So that's how I got started. What about you, dear? <laughs> I started when I was like 35, <laughs> something like that, I think. So she could wear a tennis skirt? Yeah, because I really like that. <laughs> the new clothing I could have. <laughs> That's, <kind of> fun. <laughs> That's not true. That is true. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the Family of the Year Award is awarded to a family that has given back the most to the program. It's a volunteer award. Yeah. Pretty much. So we are being um, recognized for like our playing of the game, but also just volunteering within the sport. How much, how much you give back to the sport. Yeah. But this isn't the first award they've won for tennis. I remember my first award when I won the the 10 and under, that, right? Right. That seemed Central pretty Penn. big to me. Central um, Penn? Yeah, Central Penn. Break number one. Yeah. In 10 and unders. <laughs> <laughs> cool, small. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys win that when you were 10? No. Right. No. <laughs> in college, I got 100 wins, and that's like kind of a rare thing in college tennis. So that was a big deal. Playing a sport like tennis can be very beneficial. I think like um, playing tennis, especially in the Hempfield area, just first of all, especially at Hempfield Rec, just lets us know and gets us to know a lot of people in the community and a lot of people in the tennis community. Um, but then, obviously, when you're playing in high school and things like that, you're meeting different people in different grades through the sport of tennis, which I think is a pretty special experience. Well, tennis is interesting, too, because, like, if you play soccer or lacrosse or whatever, you need almost, like, a whole team to go play, whereas, like, tennis, you can play... With one other person. One other person you can play when you're 50 or 60 or 70. Like, you can mm -hmm. play forever. For a lifetime. For a lifetime. For a sport of a lifetime. <laughs> The Pipkin family has gained a lot from the game of tennis and has given back so much more. They truly have earned the award of Family of the Year. From Hempfield Happenings, I'm Riley Klepper.